So once you turn it on, you should hear a sound and you should see this bar, this loading bar. Now you will need Wi-Fi or connect your computer to an Ethernet cable. So be ready for that. You do need internet for this setup. So once you put in all your information, um, just your Ethernet or your Wi-Fi, um, you're gonna get this. So you can transfer all your stuff from before. You can just start up a new thing. So we're gonna not transfer anything. We're just gonna click on continue. You should sign in with your Apple ID. I highly recommend this. And I do recommend making and creating Apple ID. Don't skip that part. This part, you can put your real name or you can put any name that you want. In this case, I'm putting iMac, iMac, then a password. I'm gonna take this password off later because I don't want a password. I want to start off my Mac without having to put a password. But that's it for now. I mean, if you want to take off the passwords once you're logged in, then you can do that. These parts, I always suggest just having them open. Um, you want to send the diagnostics to Apple just to help them out, help you make the system better in the OS. That's the basic setup for your Mac. If you want to further customize everything, just uh, look into my other videos. It's Everything's pretty much to customizing your system preferences. So something that I like to do first, and the first thing I want to do is put all this on. Um, more gestures, I want everything on. Uh, my tracking, I like, to, I like it to be fast. And mission control, you guys should check that out. There's shortcuts and a bunch of other things that you guys can do. Um, so I highly recommend customizing all those and yeah, and don't forget to update your Mac to update it All you guys have to do is go up here Go into App Store and update it. You will get um Something like here on the side that says restart your Mac to all these updates um, And you do want to update them So that's why I said create an Apple ID because you do need to update these things and it's gonna work way better with the updates if you guys don't do updates it's not gonna work as good as it will um, a lot of mistakes a lot of things that happen to IMAX are just on your OS um, they happen just because you haven't updated stuff especially with iTunes if you don't update it things happen things don't work properly same goes with your Mac okay so just don't forget to update your stuff on your Mac and there you are pretty much set up um, I have a bunch of tutorials that I can teach you a lot about Mac so make sure to subscribe and rate and don't forget to leave your comment down here below if you have any questions.